So it looks like some progress has been made about the Season 3 Forge playlist coming in for Halo Infinite, and it's looking pretty good from what I've seen. Right here, Michael Shore, the lead of 343's Forge mode, responded to this video right here showcasing the map Nemesis, which I actually made an entire video showcasing this map because it is so good. And actually, he responded to it saying that we have selected a few community maps for this and all are progressing nicely towards the goal of adding them to a community playlist. We are excited about making this playlist a reality and inspired by the quality of the experiences the community is creating. Which is incredibly reassuring to hear that things are tracking well for this playlist because as they mentioned in the previous live stream that not only does the map have to be good, it has to be, well, really good because a map can look fantastic but if it doesn't play well or has any kind of bugs or glitches on it well you know people are going to exploit that because it's the internet and i'm also curious what other kind of maps are out there for halo infinite's forge mode that would be great for a community playlist i mean if you guys know i'm leaving in the comments down below but first a word from today's sponsor vite ramen vite ramen is a small us-based company that provides a far more tasty fulfilling and more importantly healthier option than your typical ramen brands in less than three minutes, one packet of Vite Ramen gives you more food than the leading ramen brands, 25% of your daily micronutrients, up to 30 grams of protein, 7 grams of dietary fiber, and most importantly to me, 50% less sodium to help you live a healthier lifestyle. Where the leading brand is really just salt and carbs. Vite Ramen also has vegan plant-based versions as well. My favorite is the Sichuan Chili, as it actually packs a punch of heat along with a filling bowl of ramen. I mean, look at me. Isn't that the face of satisfaction right there? And why give your money to the corporate overlords We can help out a small business? So check out the link in the pinned comment and also in the description of this video to give Vite Ramen a look over. And thank you very much, Vite Ramen, for sponsoring this video. I figured what a better way to figure it out than do something I've never done in Halo Infinite. And that's play the custom game browser. I've actually never done this because usually on stream, I just invite people from my stream in to play with us. And it's been a really great time, but I thought we could see if we could find some hidden gems for this community playlist and surprisingly enough we found a lobby with well nemesis being played right now so i thought i'd jump in and kind of show you guys what the map plays like and you know get yourself probably expected to see this with season three's community playlist looks like we have a mix of some bots as well as some actual players in here so you know some varying skill levels looks like it will be within this uh so we'll just kind of play around with it but yeah i just love like the visual style of this map like check out this out that side area right here this is all just forged extra content that they put together to make sure that the map not only plays as well, but also looks amazing, and it absolutely does. This doesn't even look like a forged map. This is a straight up developer made map. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, we got ourselves a battle rifle with the standard Slayer settings. This thing's basically a power weapon. They're like, they even stand a chance. Oh, you try coming in hot with me? I got a battle rifle, dude. You can't touch this. Actually, utilizing the AI scan would be super useful when it comes to these plays. So it helps you kind of understand like what's on the map, what you can find and pick up and stuff. Like if I just can't scan right here, we can see there's a pad right here I can pick up kind of thing down here that has the battle rifle. There we go. So yeah, first tip and trick, guys, when you're playing a map you don't know, AI scan. Get you all the good stuff, let you know where everything is. It kind of actually gets useful now when it comes to playing multiplayer again. I mainly just use the AI scan whenever I'm playing multiplayer now for just kind of making sure I can scan where weapons are on the map and if there's something that I can pick up. Like, I'll know if my teammate dropped the rockets and the other team picked it up or something like that. I'll do an AI scan to kind of see if where it is, if it pops up. And if it doesn't, then I know not to jump, you know, throw sweat to get to that location, really. But you'll definitely can use it on this map to kind of figure out where different weapons are, if there's where the spawns and stuff like that are. It's gonna be very, very useful. It's actually a little shortcut jump. There it is nice. I like that. And we're a little two piece, two piece. There we go. Even though they're bots, man, you never know. Bots can also be a little spicy when it comes to their accuracy, especially on Spartan difficulty. Don't underestimate a bot. Never underestimate a bot. Here's another map you might recognize. It is Skyline, recreated in Halo Infinite. And this is, dude, actually, this is my, I've seen this map before, but I haven't really tried it out. This is my first time seeing it, and I'm actually, like, shocked how good this looks. This looks just like the real thing from Halo 4, which is pretty cool. Now, could we see this coming into the uh, community playlist? I mean, maybe. I wouldn't really, you know, put money on it. Because I think they'd want to focus more on new experiences to have, something created in Forge rather than something that's reimagining or something like that. But 
Besides maybe like Salvation, that Infinite Forges remake of Damnation, I think we could see that hop coming into uh, the playlist. But you know, you don't want, I don't want to see like too many remakes being put into the playlist, but like something like this though, it might be an exception because of how good it looks. Oh, and you're done. Oh my gosh, a triple, let's go. Oh, Shane, the game just ended when I was heating up, brother. Oh, here's another really good recreation here. This is a recreation of Halo 5's Tyrant. Of course, in Halo Infinite. And, uh, and I know the Forge who created this one, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but again, another excellent Forge map right here. My only concern, like I was touching on a little bit while I was playing Skyline before the game was so rudely ended right before I could play. My God, look how good this looks, dude. Oh my God, they even got the large sun or star in the background that's awesome oh it's a good way to start it off i would like to see some remakes involved with the community playlist uh definitely the salvation domin damnation remake within halo infinite i think would be amazing i think the biggest issue with halo infinite right now is just the lack of new experiences you can have with the game because i feel like even though it, it would be kind of just retreading what we already like about Halo, right? Like the 4v4 Slayer modes and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, I was an actual player at that time. You know, we have like CTF, Strongholds, all that other good stuff. But uh, I just would like to see some original creations happening with Halo Infinite. And I think that'd be a really cool addition to be added into like the community play. So also kind of put a highlight on stuff that our people are, are being like uniquely creative with when it comes to Halo Infinite's Forge, because I think right now a lot of the content that's being created is dominated by just like remakes and people trying to relive like their old memories of like, oh man, I missed this map, I wish it was in the game kind of stuff. Oh, we get both these guys, can we double it up with a double kill? Yeah! Oh, and he drops a snipe. Oh, for the triple, baby! We drew it again. Do it again! Oh! But it was for the content, man. Oh my man, that was an overkill. It was supposed to be awesome. Dude, this remake of Tyrant though is really well done. It's not exactly one to one, you know, cause you had to kind of make it for Halo Infinite, but this totally captures the same exact feels of what Tyrant was back in Halo 5, which actually was a really good map. I really enjoyed it back then. Maybe not a whole lot of people got a chance to experience that just because it kind of came in a little bit later in Halo 5's lifespan. Oh, what a spawn, dude. We both have lasers, but I get the win with the Sentinel Beam. Mine's was more of a beam. Actually, we have to check out the bottom mid area of this map. I haven't actually looked into it yet. I'm so busy trying to just get kills and be active on the map. I was like, actually, I kind of want to do a little bit of exploring. I remember the bottom of this map being looking pretty cool. God, the lighting the person that put on this is just so well done. Oh my goodness. Remember, this is where the scatter shot used to be, which I actually missed the scatter shot in Halo Infinite. It was a cool, unique shotgun, man. No weapon really played like it before in Halo, which was really a shame that it didn't come back in Halo Infinite. Be able to ricochet shots off the ground and stuff like that. I mean, that was cool. I don't care what anybody says. This shadow shot was awesome. I think another map we could see is this map right here, Curfew, mainly because, well, it was already made internally by 343. So why not already put it in to matchmaking since it's already been 343 approved because they're the ones that made the map, right? Obviously to have it available for matchmaking definitely I'm sure had to go through its own process. But the big thing I was like I was talking about is that I would want to see it be much more uh, unique experiences to have with this place rather than just being like, well, this time you can play all your favorite old maps you've played a million times already in previous Halo games, but this time in Halo Infinite. This doesn't really sound too exciting to me. Now, I do know that they've made a ton of different BTB maps within Forge, but I would highly doubt to see like a BTB playlist. So don't get me wrong, I would absolutely love a community-made BTB playlist, but one, I think it just takes a little bit more effort to make a BTB map because of the si pure size of everything. And also the fact that I'm getting shot in the back and it would just involve more play testing on 343's end, which trying to get, you know, 24 players together for a true play test be pretty difficult though i wouldn't say it's out of the question when it comes to having btp forge maps being put into the game but i think for a full entire playlist i'd highly doubt it 343 also does seem to be very stuck on the idea of like an individual playlist right for this content which i'm okay with because once a brand new playlist you definitely want to jump in and play all the new stuff right that makes sense but what happens after that is really important as well and i would like to see just rotate it into regular social matchmaking. Just add them in there, don't take them away because that's gonna be a huge hit to just the amount of content and things you can do within the game. If you just have these awesome maps that you're just gonna be gone within two weeks in Halo Infinite, that would just be awful, honestly. Though I could totally see 343 making a community playlist, putting it, taking all that time and effort to put it in the game 
and then just have it gone two weeks later because that just seems to be the, the 343 way. But you know, they do respond to community feedback and also the engagement within the content that gets created as well. Or if uh, a lot of people were entertained by the content, they're gonna jump in and keep it going, you know? Oh my god, there's a Craig on the map. Okay, this is definitely going into matchmaking now. Here's also a map called Oaxaca Station, which basically they turned the section from a Halo 2 map, put it in as like, well, it's something you can play in multiplayer, which is super freaking cool. I mean, this map is extremely well forged. It looks like something straight out of the campaign for Halo 2, but I kind of doubt this. the map like this would make it into matchmaking just as like, it's kind of linear. I think more for kind of just like the, for the lols really, or just kind of more of a social experience. Hey, there's a spot you can jump down here though. Did they make extra stuff on this map? Oh my God, there's a whole underground just, oh my God, this is so cool. So I wouldn't really expect maps like this, or I would just say a little bit more on the, lean more towards the social side of things, just because they would want to make something that's a little more fair, a little more balanced probably in the design of the map, nothing too wacky or wonky with it. So anything you would probably see like in a, I don't know, like a Fiesta map or something like that, or just something that wouldn't really be viable when it comes to like the competitive aspect of the whole thing. I wouldn't really expect to see in this play as something that looks like much more of a traditional Halo map. The 4v4 style is probably what we're going to see, which that's kind of what I think we all really want when it comes to the playlist. Especially since, you know, this is a, a playlist that you'll be earning stuff towards the battle pass for, right? It's something that you'll be spending money on to make progression through, which is going to be Something that you want to make sure that it's like a high quality kind of map. It's something that matches the gameplay expectations that you would have when you queue into say like Team Slayer or something like that, right? A map like this, while looking amazing, I don't think would really make the cut. But definitely let me know in the comments guys if you have different ideas of what you would like to see for the community playlist. If you expect to see some maps like this are a little bit more social in aspect of the whole thing or if you're just kind of playing out with nostalgia. Or would you want a completely different experience from what we currently have? You know, let me know in the comments. I do read them. 343 needs to figure out how to fix these graphical bugs. I don't know if there's something on the forge and things people can do, but uh, this is happens way too often in my experience and something that definitely would need to change. She can't get up over here like you can in the campaign. No, come on. I want to get all the map. Let me out of the map. Oh man, I understand why I block it off, but come on man, make it, make it like, like a true campaign. I'm trying to speed run the multiplayer map. So yeah, let me know what you guys want to see when it comes to this Forge Plus coming in with Season 3 of Halo Infinite. I'll catch you all in the next one.